Bonjour, it's Theo. Today we are at the Parc des Buttes Chaumont and I'm out of my comfort zone because it's not in the center of Paris, it's not next to the touristic monuments. The Parc des Buttes Chaumont is a huge park in Paris. It's like our Parisian Central Park and it's located in the northeast in the 19th arrondissement, which is not the best district. It can be unsafe at night, it's not the best, so I usually don't go there. But the best thing in this district is this park that is extremely huge because tonight I have like a restaurant opening but the restaurant will be in another video. We are next to the entrance of the park right here. To go to the Butte Chaumont, you can take the 7 bis. It's a line of the metro that nobody takes. So it's, it's a bit weird sometimes because there is no, no one in the, in the wagon. And we're gonna explore this park. Let's go. When I say it's like Central Park, it's because it's not like the French gardens, like the Jardin des Tuileries with some sculpted trees. It's not like that. It's a really different vibe. And it's so surprising because you, you can't feel that you're in Paris. Like when you go to the Butte Chaumont, you can hear the little birds. When you go to the Butte Chaumont, you really feel that you're kind of in the countryside. It's really a peaceful area. Right now, it's almost 7 p.m. and it's still sunny outside. So you can feel that the summer is coming. When you go to the park, you have like multiple ways that you can follow, sometimes with little, little stairs or like big roads to go jogging. Of course, I'm gonna take the small stairs. It really feels like I'm on, a, on an adventure right now. Like I'm in the jungle, but it's still Parisian because you have like stairs and everything. So you don't have stairs in the jungle. You can also encounter little dogs. You can find like picnics, little dogs. Like there is like a meeting of dogs. The Butte Chaumont is a great park because even if it's a big one, you can't get really lost inside. If you have like your phone, it's easy to find the roads on the map. And you have like some big path to follow. It's a perfect place to do a picnic, to go jogging at the morning. So it's a great way to have a little piece of countryside in Paris. The Butte Chaumont is like a big hill. And when you go on the top, you can have a beautiful view all over Paris. I usually never go to the Butte Chaumont because it's not in the center. It's not where I live and it's not the perfect district. I usually don't go there, but the place is amazing. Like just look, look at this view. It feels like you're not in Paris. Oh, oh bad news. The bridge is locked. There is like a lake in the middle of the park and with a little bridge, but I think we can't access this right now. Maybe it's in construction. All the French people living in the countryside criticizing Paris because it's too urbanized. There is no trees anymore. You can go to the Butte Chaumont. You will see the trees. I'm kidding a little bit because it's not like the countryside, but it really feels like a piece of nature inside the city. And having this like in the middle of, uh, of the buildings, it's amazing. I also hear many different languages. So I think that it's not just a hidden gem because it's a big park, it's a famous park. But it also means that many tourists are coming to the Butte Chaumont and it's great because it's not known enough. It's a beautiful park and it deserves more fame, I think. Okay, I want to get to the lake and there is like a shortcut right here. You just have to cross the little river. I've seen people doing it, so I'm gonna try. Wait. That's good. I was filming it like I was Indiana Jones. No, no, I'm not. <laughs> I just arrived to this little house. I think it's where I will have uh, dinner tonight. I think I'm gonna film it for another video. And just in front of it, we have like the best view. This is the bridge over the lake of the Butte Chaumont. I'm not sure we can access it. I will try, but I'm not sure because I was on the other side and it was closed. Yeah. Yeah, it's close too. We can't access it, but you can see that the view, the view was great. <laughs> the view was great, but we can't access it. And there is this little temple on top of the hill. It's been almost two months that I'm making one video every day on YouTube. And the, just the feedbacks and the comments are incredible. I'm seeing this channel growing every day, reading the comments every morning. I feel so, so grateful for that because I spent eight or nine years on YouTube in French trying to succeed on that when I was young. But it was so difficult. I was making videos about mangas first, then I made videos about productivity and self-help. So people on one of my last videos telling me that I could be like a, a good life coach. I was really feeling grateful for that. Before starting Instagram and TikTok and growing on these platforms, YouTube was, was my first love. And it was so difficult to, to create an audience on it when I was younger. And now I feel that I found my way on YouTube and all of you watching my videos. I'm just so grateful for that. And it's just the beginning. It's been two months I'm making videos every day. I'm still gonna do it. 
I'm really tired right now because sometimes I uh, I go to sleep at uh, 3 or 4 a.m. because I'm making like an editing during the night. But I will find my rhythm, I will find my my way to make videos and it's just the beginning guys. So if I have something to, to say to everyone who wants to succeed somewhere, I don't know, it can be in art, in business, in sport, in anything. The most difficult is to start. Don't put you in a deadline, just try a new habit. Try it every single day and see where you can go. And I remember this uh, sentence that really changed me. It's from a, a French uh, comedian who was alcoholic for years and years and he stopped alcohol like six years ago. It's one of his friends that said something to him. He said, you did everything you wanted for 30 years and you became sad and alcoholic. Try to do everything you don't want to do for just one month to see where you can go with that. If you want to change something in your life, you have to change your habits, you have to change your actions and try something new for one month to see where you can go with that, to see how you can feel about that, like doing sport, doing a challenge, doing uh, videos, anything. You will be really surprised because it's always when you change something in your life that the most beautiful things will come in the future. You start something new, you keep going, and then your life change. This is like the secret formula. And now we have a beautiful view. This lake, you have the hills, I like it. I still have many things to change in my life. I need to work out more. Also, I need to focus more on the business or even on Instagram and TikTok because I'm really focused on YouTube right now, but I have also other platforms. I feel sometimes really lost because I have so many things to think about. I trust myself on that. I know that it's just the beginning that you have to figure it out a little bit at the, at the beginning and everything will be better after it. And the things that is really good and like stable right now in my life is YouTube because I'm making one video every day. I really love it and I have all the feedbacks that I was dreaming of when I was younger and I'm really happy about that. So thank you so much for following this YouTube channel because it means so much to me and it's just the beginning guys. I said in one of my last videos, in the short term I had a goal to reach like 13k because it was like the number of followers that I had on my French YouTube channel years ago. I think we're gonna achieve that really soon because we are like at 8k right now after two months of daily videos. It's just incredible. And after the 13k, because it's just, it's just the start, I want to make so many things with YouTube because I know that this YouTube channel can create big things. The content I love watching and making is the long videos. And with YouTube, I'm doing it after years of making videos on Instagram and TikTok, and it was just short content. I really feel that it's where I have to be now, that YouTube is where I have to be now. So share in the comments what you want to see on this channel. It can be about Paris, about me. If you want me to share more about my life or my daily life, like every Sunday, I make the Spill the French Tea talk. It's like a little podcast that I post every Sunday on this YouTube channel where we can talk about many things. So if you have any subject that you want me to talk about, share it in the comments. And if you come to Paris or you live in Paris already and you want to have like a, a quiet walk in a beautiful park, the Butte Chaumont is a great park. It doesn't feel like I'm in Paris right now. If you want to visit Paris, don't forget to check the description just right below. I created many guides and maps of the city to help you exploring Paris. Everything is available on my website, frenchgaito.com. And if you want to explore Paris and discover the French way of life, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. I post every single day. So see you tomorrow.